everyone, it is Wednesday, November 17th, 2010, and this is your Daily Dose of Reptile News. Well, apparently in Australia, a tip-off from some local police led wildlife officials to arresting some poachers. The people were, I guess they were fined in the court, 11, I think it was $13,000 altogether. They were reportedly collecting uh, native species to add to a breeding collection in New South Wales or so something like that. They were found in their van with 19 species of, uh, of uh, snakes, lizards, frogs, totaling a total of about 56 animals. Uh, apparently, when they were found, the animals were alive, but since 41 of them have died due to poor health. And more exciting news out of Australia. We talked about Hartley's Crocodile Farm uh, not too long ago, getting the, uh, what was it, the tourism um, awards. Well, apparently, they, spending the last few weeks collecting crocodile eggs, they found a conjoined eggs that, that they're hoping that maybe it holds a conjoined crocodile twins inside it. The egg has been put in the incubator and they just have to wait and see now obviously. They state that this is not the first one they found but it's extremely rare and this is the first one they found that has been fertile. And scientists in Colombia uh, with this uh, amphibian research rediscovering lost species, they're a little bit disappointed they found no lost species but apparently they did find three new species previously unknown to science. And last but not least I have a video that I can't show you here or they'll burn me at the stake again so I'm gonna put the link down there go to the website check it out it's about fence lizards and how they're evolving to uh, fight off fire ants apparently uh, researchers in areas where fence lizards and, and, and the fire ants have interacted for a long time found that the lizards are shaking the ants off which is contrary to what they normally do they normally just sit there and get killed and they're shaking the ants off and they're running away and apparently as part of this process they're also evolving longer legs to help with that in the areas where fence lizards and fire ants do not normally interact for years now the lizards just sit there and end up dying and of course now we have your question of the day what do you think about the conjoined crocodile egg oh what do you think about the chances of conjoined crocodile twins coming from that egg do you think it do you think it's a good idea to to even bother incubating this to find out so what do you think the, the survival rate of something like that is for for both individuals at least um, leave a text comment or a video response below and as always if you're still watching my name is Jason White now you know what's going on in the reptile world be good to each other